have a look at random numbers to the nearest hundred. So random to the nearest hundred means we're counting up in hundreds, like 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. So what I'm going to be doing here is placing these numbers, amounts, whatever you want to call them, because you've got different units in there. You've got pounds, you've got pens, meters, so centimeters. The unit does not matter. You still round in exactly the same way. So I'm going to try and place them in the number line. So I'll first start with this. So I've got 199 pens. Where do I place it in the number line? 199 suggests that this is between 100 and 200. So we're looking at placing this here. 199, as you see, as you can see, is very close to 200. So just one more pence and you'd get 200 of them. So I'll place it here and as you can see in the position of in the number line this is very close to 200 so we'll around it to 200 now we'll look at another one so we'll take 70 where it is 70 70 is in between 0 and 100, halfway through 0 and 100 is 50, so obviously this is going to be about at this point, so that is, as you can see, closer to 100 than it is to 0, so we'll say this is rounded to 100. Then we have... 600 where does that go 600 is spot on although the number in itself is between 600 and 700 600 is spot on top of 600 mark the 600 mark so that is rounded to 600 doesn't make sense to go to 700 because that's very close to 600 on it and then we'll take 148. So 148 is between 100 and 200. 150 is halfway through, which is the point when you round up. But this is less than that. So that is just under 150. So we'll round this to 100. And we'll now look at 28. So if you look at 28, 28 is closer to zero. So it's not 50, which is the point where you round up to 100. So that's rounded to zero, to the nearest 100. 50 then is right in the middle. So that means we round up, we go to 100. And 960, where does that go? So that's between 900 and 1,000. 950 is right in the middle. And this is more than that. So for that reason, we'll round it to 1,000. So we'll now look at the other method of actual rounding we've placed them numbers in the number line but we'll look at the other method so let's have a look at these numbers so we've got 148 we run into the nearest hundred so where is the hundreds column that's here that's the digit that represents the hundreds to decide we look at the digit on the right which happens to be the tens why do we look at the digit on the right because we said this is we kind of trying to place it in the number line and if it's less than 150 
then we round down, meaning we go to 100. And if it's 150 and over, then we round it up to go to 200. And we have the digits as well here. So, and on the other side, so we've got 148. Looking at the four, the four is one that suggests we go down. And for that reason, we go to 100. We'll then go up to 200. Now, let's have a look at this. 199. Again, run to the nearest hundred means we look, we locate the hundreds digit. Looking on next to it on the right, we've got a nine, and that nine is in the digits that go up. So five, six, seven, eight, or nine, and that's a nine, meaning that we're going to round up to go to two hundred. Let's have a look at this. So we've got 70. Obviously, we haven't got a digit, a digit that represents the hundreds. That would be over here. So we look at the ones next to it on the right. And that happens to be 7. So 7 is one of the digits that we round means we round up, so we go up to 100, because this is currently a zero, so it's we either keep it as a zero or we go up to one, and seven told us that we need to go up to round up. So we go up to 100, and there we have 600 here, so that's the, what we need to round to. Is it going to stay at 6 or is it going to go up to 7 to make 700? And obviously looking at the digit on the right, that is a 0, which means we round down. So we stay with 600. And looking at 960, that's the hundreds digit. Look at the 6, that's one that goes up. So this can't stay as a 9, it's going to go as up to 10 so we make a thousand and 50 again the hundreds digit would be here but at the moment there is no digit so it means it's a zero and looking on the right we've got a five which means we round up so we got to 100 and finally we've got 28 again no hundred digits so it's a zero looking at the two to determine whether we stay with zero or go up to one, 100. That means that we stay down, we round down, so we're going to go to zero. And this explains how to round numbers to the nearest 10 and 100. So we'll now look at some worded questions. Alia went shopping and bought a pair of trousers for £184. A bag for £260 and a top for £35. Estimate the cost of alias shopping. So since we're talking about hundreds of pounds here, it makes sense to round to the nearest hundred. Because we haven't been asked to round to the nearest ten, for example. So what I'm going to be doing is I will round these. 184 to the nearest hundred is 200 because this is closer to 200 than it is to 100 so I'll write 200 260 to the nearest hundred is 300 and 35 to the nearest hundred is zero because it's below 50 so I don't even need to add that since zero doesn't add anything so 200 and 300 makes 500 pounds let's double check that was rounded to 200 this is to 300 and that was zero so that should give us a rough figure of how much Alia spent shopping Hannah is building a dollhouse using wood planks she needs 455 centimeters for the windows and 105 centimeters for the doors how much does she need in total so 
we haven't been asked to estimate so we're gonna have to work out the total now the easiest way I can work this out is to have 455 and the 105 added together using the column method 5 and 5 makes 10 so the 0 down and 1 carried over 5 and 1 makes 6 5 and 1 makes 5 so 560 centimeters because we use centimeters for both so the result is going to be in centimeters now we've got to check the answer by rounding to the nearest hundred 455 to the nearest hundred that is in between 400 and 500 and it's closer to 500 so i'm going to say 500 105 to the nearest hundred it is between 100 and 200 but it's much closer to 100 because it's 105 just five more so all together that gives me 600 is that close to this it is close to this and actually if you round 560 to the nearest nearest hundred you'd give you 600 so we've got that calculation right but if this was much more different from that, then I'd go back and check this calculation and redo it.